Hello and welcome to Medieval Engineers. This is Harry from Storied Past Productions. Today I wanted to do a quick video on creating a cart in survival mode made out of two large chests. I find this to be a really useful cart and as you'll find if you start playing survival, having a good cart is absolutely essential. This one that I'm going to create can hold up to 24 square timbers or as many as 30 large stones without rattling around or banging around and it's really easy to manipulate and uh, and drive around too so let's dive into it first off set up your toolbars with the things that you're going to need you're going to need your builders hammer manipulation tool and axe for the chest itself you're going to need your rope ending your round timbers catch blocks chest wheel and square timber. To handle the pesky scrap wood and branches that are going to accumulate, you're going to want three different skeletons you can place. A wooden wall slope, a wooden wall door, and a wooden wall window. I'll show you more about those a little bit later on. So now let's dive in. You're going to need about nine square timbers and five round timbers in order to complete your cart. So find a couple good trees and start cutting. With luck you'll only need two trees. You might end up needing three. Now it's time to start turning trees into timbers. You can just hold down the right mouse button when you have your axe armed and that will go from turning the trees into logs to turning the logs into timbers, one at a time. Eventually your building site will become cluttered with lots of pieces of scrap wood and large heavy branches. And because of a nasty bug in Medieval Engineers, a lot of times those will end up killing you. So, what you can do about that is take those wall skeletons that you had put into your uh, toolbar, and when you're nearby your branches or your scrap wood, just find a place in the ground and start placing the skeletons. You don't have to use your building hammer, you don't have to use any actual timbers, all you're using is the pieces of scrap wood and branches nearby. It slurps them up off the ground and leaves your ground clear, for you to continue uh, working and harvesting. Let's speed up through the rest of this tree here just to save a little bit of time. There, tree's done. I want to take these far two timbers here and scoop them up and then walk them back over closer to where my work site's going to be. And then I want to go back and continue to harvest five more of these square timbers down into the round timbers that I'm going to need for the wheels, etc. And now we just repeat the process with the second tree. The second tree I can leave all squared timbers because I now have all the round timbers that I'm going to need. I'm also speeding this uh, second tree up since it's pretty much the same as the first. Also, thank you for bearing with me with uh, my choppy video here. My computer is pretty ancient and it's definitely time for an upgrade. So there we go. Two trees chopped down and harvested and I've got all the timber pieces that I need. Again, I'll take a couple of these last ones here at the far end and bring them back up towards the main work site so I've got uh, the wood handy and close by to work with. Also, being survival, you've got to eat. I happen to have a few of the mushrooms here handy that I picked up earlier. I uh, don't know if you know this, but you can just right-click on uh, any of the food that's in your inventory to eat it. You don't have to drag it to that little picture of the mouth. One right-click and you're good to go. So now we're ready to start building the cart itself. First thing you want to do is take a 10 length uh, square timber and put it vertically in the ground. And then you will connect to that about 3 quarters of the way up a round timber, about 3 long. This is where you're going to connect the cart to and build it. And uh, you just need to make it long enough so that you can deconstruct this piece when it's time to set the cart free. Next, attach the first chest. Use the scroll wheel to make it a large chest and then rotate it so it's coming out at you lengthwise, then connect it to the round timber. Connect the second chest right next to it, making sure that you've lined it up right. Next, you attach a catch block to each corner of the combined chests. You want the catch block to sit down a little bit so that it has a little bit of extra rolling clearance once the wheels are attached. You can do this by using the R key to rotate the catch block.
Now it's time to add the wheels. Make sure that as you're placing each wheel you have it rotated so that the little nub that sticks out of the middle of it is pointed in toward the catch block. If you have it backwards, the wheel won't have enough clearance and it won't rotate. So make sure you double check this when you're putting each wheel on. Oops, my round timbers are a little far away. I'll go over and grab a couple of them and bring them closer to the worksite. There we go, and wheel's done. Now it's time to attach the carriage at the front of the cart. This is where you're going to hop into and where you're going to run around in order to direct the cart and take it wherever you want it to go. You need to use square timbers and you want to place them at the bottom front of the catch blocks. It doesn't exactly matter how long you make them, but you need to make them long enough to move around. I like a length of seven. That seems to work well. and another timber on the other side, and then connect the two with another timber, and your cart is just about done. Now all you need is to place two rope endings, one at each front corner. With these, whenever you pull up to uh, your destination, you'll be able to tie the cart down, and that way, even if your cart's on a slope, it won't go anywhere. Just another way to make your cart safer and more functional. Now all that's left is to use the hammer to deconstruct the round timber that's holding the cart up. Seven hits, and the cart will be free to roll. And there you go! You now have a working cart. Like I said at the beginning, this cart can hold 24 square timbers, or as many as 30 large stones. If you want to test it out, grab a few pieces of spare timber that are lying around, or open up your inventory and just transfer them right into the cart. To use the cart, just run and jump inside the front carriage, and then go where you want to go. Go left, go right, go forward, go backward, the cart will follow. It's extremely sturdy, can take a beating, goes up and down hills just fine, and is a great way to transport lots of materials to get to your site. When you reach your destination, just tie up your cart. If it turns out your destination doesn't have a rope ending, no problem. If you happen to pack a piece of uh, square timber in the cart as a spare, you could just create a rope ending right there on the go. Then connect your rope to it, and your cart is sturdy. It's going nowhere. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a like down below. And also, please subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. Bye for now, and happy building!